Welcome back, developers, to part 3 of our dashboard series. I hope you are enjoying this series and learning something new. As you know, this is the third part of our series, and we have already uploaded two parts, so be sure to check them out. So in today's video we will make the login page and button that we made yesterday working and see how you can use Discord Zero. And I would like to tell you that if you want then you can support me on Patreon so that I can make more videos for you all. And you will get many more benefits, the link is in the description. And if you want to get your custom advanced dashboard made then you can contact me on Discord. You can see our login page looks like this. And of course, you can make it better if you know HTML and CSS. However, our button isn't working right now. Nothing happens when we click it, so let's set up both. For that, go to the developer portal and choose your bot. Then, go to the Oath tab, click on add redirect, and paste this link. After that, scroll down a bit and check the boxes for identify, guilds, and guilds.join. Then click on save changes. Next, select the redirect URL and copy it. Now, when you paste this copied URL into a new tab, you will see that our bot's authorization page is ready, where anyone can click and log in with their Discord account. After that, go back to Visual Studio Code and paste the same link into the login button. Now, when we click this button, it will show us the page where the user can log in. The issue is that when you click on Authorize, it doesn't show anything and instead displays a page that we don't want. So now let's write the code to ensure that when the user authorizes, they are redirected to a specific page. So now let's go to our main index.js file and first import all the packages that we will be using in today's video and in the upcoming videos. After that, we'll access some files here, our main files, and the page that we want to show when someone visits the dashboard. We'll specify that page here, so whenever the user visits the dashboard, they will see this login page. So now we will start managing Oath from here. We will write all the code that will give us access to the user's details, such as their avatar, banner, username, ID, and all the guilds the user has joined. While I write the code, I'll explain how it works. When the user authorizes, an access token is generated, which helps us access the user's details. We use that token to get the user's information and manage everything. However, the access token can only be used once and has an expiration time. This is where the refresh token comes in handy, which we get when the user authorizes. The refresh token helps us generate a new access token. So our code is complete now. After getting the user's details, we will redirect them to the dashboard page, which we haven't created yet but will make in a little while. Before that, let's quickly manage the errors and add a console log to tell us whether our local host is running or not. So now let's create a dashboard page where our user will be redirected once they log in. Our simple HTML page is now created. Let's run our dashboard and see if it's working properly. Okay, you can see now it's on localhost, let's click on login then authorize so it gives this error for that. Let's go back to our index.js and here add this code and now when you authorize, it's redirect us to dashboard page. 
As you can see, it is working well. So, that's it for today. We will design this dashboard page in our next video. If you want more parts in this series, be sure to comment and like.